Hey there, welcome back. I'm so excited for this one in particular. This is my favorite thing to talk about, which is self-love. This one thing of learning how to really truly love and accepted myself has moved me forward so much and has helped me lose 20 pounds in three months. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So most people, when they are wanting to lose weight, they are coming from a place of wanting to change their bodies because they hate it or they don't like it. And they think that the solution to that is losing weight. And once they get to that place of the weight loss, that they're going to love their bodies, that they're going to be enough, that they'll be happy and maybe other people will love them. But that really is the farthest thing from the truth. I know this from example all too well because this is the one thing that I struggled with for pretty much the last couple of decades in my life. I was telling myself that story, when I lose weight, I'll be happy. <clears throat> when I lose weight, I'll go after my dreams. When I lose weight, I'll meet my man. And that left me in a state of waiting to start my life and waiting to be happy for all the happy until this one thing happened that never happened. So it was really empowering and I knew this year, I, ha I hit a point where I, I realized that I truly loved myself and I accepted myself. And that was when I was going through my phone and I came across a picture from about seven years earlier when I was at one of my lowest weights. And my first thought was, damn, I look good. And then my second thought, which really, really surprised me was, oh man, I feel really bad for that version of me back then because I was so thin and I hated myself and I was waiting to lose that last 10 pounds to really show up and love myself. And in that moment, having that perspective and also having that thought and that realization at my heaviest weight, which was 198 at the beginning of this year, I was I realized that is the act of self-love, is to love yourself exactly where you are. Now, I know it is really hard to shut down what I call the mean girl chatter in our head because it's just human nature. We're gonna look for the negative. We're going to doubt ourselves. We're gonna get really down. That is easy. The hard part is being very intentional and choosing love and then eventually making that the norm. Now. I get this all the time from my clients when I talk about self-love and the one thing that they say is, well, Lauren, if I already loved and accepted myself exactly how I was at my weight, wouldn't that make me not want to change or not make me not want to lose weight? And they think that if they love themselves right now that they won't take the actions. And actually that is that one belief is holding them back from losing the weight because if you think about the model, you know, our thoughts create our feelings and then it's the feeling that creates the action. So if you're coming from not from hate or shame for your body, you're not going to want to do the actions to get the results. Where vice versa, if you're coming from love and coming from a true place of like truly loving yourself, that you want what's best for you and coming from that place and coming from love, you're going to take the right actions to lose the weight. A great example of this is think about our pets or our kids. You know, when they're learning to w walk or they're learning a new skills, even when they're failing, that you still have unconditional love for them and you really, really want them to do well. It's the same thing. So remember, you're just one thought away from choosing love. So the tool that I give my clients is, well, first off, just that awareness of the chatter in our mind. Now, when you realize that you're going down there and you're speaking negatively or having hate or shame, you have to stop yourself and then ask yourself this one question, which is, what do I need to be thinking right now to choose love? And that one question is going to help you move from, from hate or shame or whatever it is to more of a loving thought. Now, of course, this takes some practice, but it's with the practicing that it will apply. The other thing that has really helped my clients is because they are so stuck in their old belief system of thinking that acceptance and love is going to keep them stuck, that I really encourage them to redefine how they are looking at their story and how, what self-love means to me. One of my clients who's really amazing did some wonderful work and some of the things that she came up with is, you know, realizing that self-love is not turning a blind eye and 
to whatever she's eating and saying and realizing that she has to say no or not being able to say screw it. It's also realizing that you had to come from love and realizing that we're coming from long-term thinking instead of short-term pleasures. Um, also, it's forgiving yourself when you go off track. So really ask yourself, what does self-love look like for me right now? How do I need to reframe self-love in the act of self-care and when you're losing weight? So ask yourself, you know, what does self-love look like to me? Write it down. Honestly, self-love is so powerful. So stop beating yourself up and choose love.